Welcome to Making Rounds with Boca Regional. I'm your host, Tom Chikurta. Today, we're pleased to welcome Dr. Anthony Lee, who's medical director of our endovascular program at the Lynn Hart and Vascular Institute. Dr. Lee, thanks for being with us today. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Today, we're going to be talking about a, a recent development at the hospital, which really enhances our capabilities in both cardiac and endovascular surgery. And that's what we call the hybrid OR. Dr. Lee, explain to us what the hybrid OR is, what its technology is, what it presents uh, to our capabilities, and then we'll compare it to a conventional OR. Sure. Uh, the term hybrid uh, obviously means a mixture of two different modalities, and a hybrid room uh, really uh, uh, defines the absolute state of the art in terms of mixture of the best of a conventional operating room and with all the imaging cap capabilities that current technology has to offer. Uh, therefore, one of the most exciting developments in the last 10 years in cardiovascular therapy has been an endovascular therapy, which otherwise is known as catheter guide wire treatments or minimally invasive treatment of cardiovascular disease. And if you really want to treat complex diseases it, using this therapy, you really need imaging. Imaging in this therapy uh, really becomes the eyes of the surgeon, whereas in conventional surgery, we had our own eyes to actually look at the tissues and the organs that we were operating on. In this, kind of, uh, in this type of therapy, you really need uh, uh, kind of high-definition, high-quality, x-ray, fluoroscopic imaging to perform the procedures, and that's what a hybrid room provides. Now, prior to the advent of the hybrid, what would a surgeon do to, to get these images both pre- and post-operative and during the procedure itself? You would literally have to stop the procedure if you needed additional imaging, correct? Yes. You know, in, in the past, uh, before the advent of this hybrid room, uh, what one would have is uh, oftentimes a person may uh, be a patient may be required to uh, come in before their scheduled surgery uh, to get this type of imaging in a separate radiological suite, uh, if you will, and then go home. The surgeon would look at the, uh, the pictures that were generated and then formulate a surgical plan. Uh, and uh, during the actual procedure, if one were to require additional images, uh, one would actually roll in a portable fluoroscopic or x-ray machine in order to provide those necessary images. Those portable machines clearly do not measure up to the high quality images that one can get in a hybrid room setting. So now, what do we have? In 2013, in this kind of a hybrid room, what we have is the patient can come in, come in, get the necessary images on the day of surgery, at the time of surgery, the surgeon can decide what the best procedure would be and then perform that procedure. So it's kind of a, uh, really a one-stop shopping. Dr. Lee, one of the advantages the hybrid operating room provides to you as a surgeon is in the treatment of complex aortic aneurysms, which really is one of your specialties. Could you tell our viewers, A, what complex aortic aneurysms are? Um, what the dangers are in having one, and how the hybrid helps you in addressing that, that certain condition. Yes, uh, a complex aortic aneurysm, which differs from, I would say, a conventional or ordinary aortic aneurysm, is, uh, is due to the fact that the aneurysm involves certain very vital blood vessels in the aorta, where the aneurysm is occurring. And by such, treatment of that becomes, uh, carries a lot higher risk. Uh, all, any complex aneurysm, like any other aneurysms, if left unrepaired, can lead to rupture and death of the patient. Therefore, you want to repair these aneurysms in a timely manner. Now, repair, conventional repair of these aortic aneurysms, let's say by conventional surgery, carries an extremely high degree of risk and morbidity and potential complications during the operation and after the operation. What is now available that was not available many years ago is minimally invasive methods of fixing these. And by minimally invasive methods, we're really talking about endovascular sure. therapy or catheter guide wire based using stents. And this is where the hybrid room comes in sure. in order to properly insert or introduce 
these stents in the correct places such that the aneurysm is fixed in a secure manner, you really need the highest quality and level of imaging that a room like a hybrid room uh, provides. And let's compare the conventional approach to the minimally invasive hybrid based ap approach. Uh, let's talk about recovery, incision, uh, blood loss. What are the advantages to the patient in having the therapy delivered through minimally invasive technique in the hybrid OR? Uh, Tom, you already touched upon many of the highlights in terms of the advantages uh, of this new therapy, which is that uh, clearly the recovery is much faster. We're talking uh, two, three times less in terms of hospital stay and after. And a person's recovery is not over after they leave the hospital. Uh, the actual, the, the most lengthy portion of the so-called recuperation occurs after the patient leaves the hospital. And in terms of return to normal function, which is a very important measure, uh, undergoing an endovascular or minimally invasive uh, treatment is much superior. In terms of kind of conventional complications such as blood loss or incision, there is no comparison. And, and frequently in an endovascular therapy, there is no incision. We can frequently perform this with a simple needle puncture versus a long incision, which obviously carries a lot of pain and potential suffering afterwards, and obviously impact, impacts post-operative re, uh, recovery. And if I understand it correctly, uh, these kind of aneurysms really manifest themselves in an older patient population, uh, an older demographic, if you will. And I would think that because of the minimally invasive technique, this gives you enhanced capabilities to operate safely and effectively on an older population, wouldn't it? Absolutely. You're exactly right. The peak incidence of aortic aneurysms occurs in, pe in people who are in their 70s and 80s. And as people are living longer and longer, these aneurysms are found in, in much, even much uh, older patients than that, especially in this population. And, uh, and those patients cannot tolerate um, an invasive procedure. So by being able to perform minimally invasive procedures in this setting such as a hybrid OR, uh, we can really benefit the patients. Dr. Lee, lastly, the hybrid OR and its technologies is really not, it's a very limited uh, scope of application in medicine. It's, it, these are not frequent throughout the country or in Florida, are they? Yes, uh, that's exactly correct. This uh, hybrid OR represents probably one of the most advanced medical technologies that is available. And uh, uh, as such, it is not widely available, uh, not only in the state of Florida, but even if, if one looks at, across the nation. Uh, it, is, uh, it is available in certain uh, select centers uh, and uh, in centers that actually harbor uh, expertise uh, in actually using the room in a proper manner to help these types of patients. That's great. Well, I'd like to thank Dr. Lee for joining us on this episode of Making Rounds. I think it's indicative of the, uh, both the technology and the technique that Boca Regional brings to patients in South Florida and beyond. So again, Dr. Lee, thank you for joining us. Uh, and thank you for joining us and learning more about how Boca Raton Regional Hospital is indeed advancing the boundaries of medicine. We'll see you next time.